how to use content blog how we'll be using this in our uh, emails and cloud pages what are the benefits of using this content blog content blog you can add anything here this is uh, images obviously not javascript am script is there you can use uh, sss client javascript it does not support and it has to be part of the email not the whole uh, html but uh, parts of uh, parts of the html you can add it I'll, I'll show you something related to subject line maybe i'll i'll see if i can okay uh, i'll try to cover most of the thing and and today we'll only concentrate on content block and we have content block uh, to be called by the name by the id uh, this one content area which was basically for the classic contents now it has been obsolete we'll only concentrate by my favorite is one is the content block by e okay other are the same here we have uh, different ordinals where first thing is the external key which block you are calling second one is if you want to add some impression into the content block so you know uh, how do we basically tracking how should we do in the cloud pages in email if you have a hyperlink and you have an alias tag and from the uh, data view click okay if somebody is doing a data view click uh, you have the link Ashi, can you see the screen we are not able to yeah. can you see the screen yeah, it's loading yes thanks okay so for data view click okay if you do some kind of a impression tracking it can be done here you have an area which is like link name which will be the alias in the hyperlink so you can do the tracking and which link content they clicked and all all this will be there so this will uh, this will might be happening when we do uh, sql enablement then more details will be there but today we'll restrict to ourselves to content block this one so on session 4 we had created a consent block okay i have a full html uh, where we basically capture how it used to look like I have to open this so this this is how it used to look like uh, when we created this content block uh, sorry this html for capturing the consent copy this i have created one collection i create a landing page and i say master consent or uh, something whatever name i want to give i created a blank one i'll show you all the differences that happens i remove whatever there it, it was there and i copy this and i paste it here and i do the and i just publish this so before there you should see you used to have this input site so you you see this percentage percentage input email input full name input address and all this was there now all these are gone right all those input name and all because i publish in the you know, if i click here you see this is how my form will look like if i have to use a content block what i'm going to do is i'm copying the form tag so this is my form tag basically i'll copy this anyway i have already basically made some changes here okay so this is i have started with a form tag this is a form ending of form so i simply copy this form means uh, from this whole thing uh, i'm just copying the form one so i copy this form and uh, i go to the content block okay this is my content builder and here from this one i create a course snippet so for the content block, I create a course snippet with HTML content. I'll tell you why HTML. So I created this one. Now I let's see. I say consent. This one is consent, right? So consent form. Now I saved it as a form. I also going to save the customer key as a consent form, and then I save it. Now if I go back to my cloud cloud page because I have removed, I need to remove this form from here so let's see if i do this and i then publish this now my form will disappear from here if i refresh this page just to to publish. Publish. yeah maybe try on a different browser it could be a cache yeah let me copy this okay and uh, let me so this is actually okay because there's a caching thing is happening editing becomes my difficulty okay so i have this one right so i have this so here if you just preview this we don't have the uh, design that's why it is coming in this way so i copy the customer key i'll explain added this line so you can do this way as well anyway i'll just remove this one wait as consent content block by key consent form let me publish this i have another window as well and by the way internet explorer used to do but this age is also caching here yeah? i had another window was for my so there's another window okay so this is how it looks like okay this is my so see what i'm doing here is 
when i'm simply changing this into a content block uh, what i can do is this content block i can basically share across different business unit every time you go and create a cloud page right if you go and create a cloud page and if you call this uh, form it will work so this becomes your reusable one. form you can use across all different business units and the only thing that you have to change uh, that will be related to if they have different styling different formats right so they have they can change the css here hmm, based on their different brands uh, based on their different preferences or other thing and those thing only will be changed and this form and everything will remain the same here uh, what i have added right so all of the, these are all AMP script variables. All these are AMP script variables. So you're doing basically doing personalization. I had created one lookup, okay? I'll just try to paste this out here. So I'll create another content block. Okay, let me first go line by line. Now, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I have this form where everything is empty. So I have some placeholders, but everything is empty. If I write a, AMP script where I say so first what I'll do see let me explain I have written in details I took some time writing this this how basically I write we should write a code okay so I'll say extract the subscriber key from the URL query parameter with that is encrypted okay by the cloud page URL also where you need to use cloud page URL function and from the cloud page URL function when you do it is gets encrypted to form base 64 how to do the lookup and get the subscriber key so I'm doing a request parameter on the subscriber key assigning to a subscriber key and then i'm doing a lookup rules uh from the master d i have the master d here okay i created a, this is a master consent i'll modify the name if that has to be changed let me just verify this yeah master consent so i have added one record for myself and let's see what happens after that so i have a data extension and from there i'll retrieve my record and then what i'll do is I'll first validate if there are any rows for the subscriber key and I'll do a loop for loop. After that, I'll going to assign each input variables here like we had here uh, in the cloud page. Uh, let's say, so this was my consent form. So you could have seen here like input email for input full name, input address, input city, input zip. In the same way, I have added all this what's uh, all this into an M script variable. I assigned it. If I add this, okay, I'll go all the things which I have commented. I'll explain later why I have commented and why it is there. Here, create another content block. So, and I paste it here and I call this as loop up consent. And then I go back to my cloud page and in my inside my head, I'll use content block by key and what was so build one email as well. So here I add it. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. See, if something is uh, this way, if you see, okay, in SSJS, if you write, uh, yeah, obviously there might be some issue. Okay, but this doesn't mean your M script has an issue. If there is some M script issue, we'll. Uh, so I'll just try to refresh. It, it comes to 500 error or it gets refreshed. Okay, so here you see, when I added this content block, it has a 500 error. Means obviously I have an issue with my code because I added a lot of things to explain you guys. I could have simplified this, especially here. Hmm. Row content, subscriber details, everything is good. Uh, all these parts i'm okay but anyway i'll modify that directly i'll copy this and let me create a new one okay so assigning a subscriber key hmm. now how do i see how do i troubleshoot okay so here let me first delete this which is not necessary we'll make the changes slowly and slowly okay so i'll make it very simple for you this is some comment things are happening but this will work this in amp script okay 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 why i see wrong because i created another one don't say i see it should be amp script language amp script yeah great so this is a comment okay there's nothing wrong here this is nothing wrong here. Let's I'll just editing this one. Right. Just make this change. Okay. Save. 
I'm not going to republish my cloud page. I'm simply going to uh, this form. Where is that? So, mm, this one, okay, 500 error. I simply still an error. Okay, no problem. If even if I know this, removing other line, okay. I'm removing everything and let's see. See, I'm just uh, changing the content block. I'm not publishing or republishing the cloud page. Hmm. Now I just refresh this, but there is some caching issue now. It should not happen. Okay. Let me just see if I remove all this commenting thing. If I just make it empty, hmm. let's make this empty. I have an empty block. And if I refresh, but this is not related. To, something wrong is related to caching here. Okay. Uh, let me publish this. Did I? Oh, no, no. It's okay. Look up consent. So see a quick question. I mean, why do you have added this AMP script block in the head and not in the body? Any reason? Uh, when you're loading the page, so first the head is being called, right? And the body. So it parses, it's like an interpreter, not a translator. So any AMP script that you're writing, you can write inside a body also, but uh, always in the header, I prefer header. Mm -hmm. I'll explain that in a bit. Let me first fix this one. I don't to walk. Yeah, so this is walking, okay? But I don't know which one is caching or which one is not a caching one. This is walking. Let me copy this in the edge. If I just simply make a change in the email, okay? Let's see before going there why that is not form me. So instead of email, if I have to make a label change to the email, so I'll say email label. And if I just simply change here, it should basically reflect. Hmm. I don't have to go and publish the cloud page again and again. It should reflect. Yeah. So see, it's now email level. Hmm. Now let's let's say if I have to make this address one as uh, full address. Hmm. If I'm saying this one, full address, and I'm making the change. Okay. And I just refresh the cloud page. So. This is becomes full address. You can see the changes. I am not going to the cloud page and publishing it again and again. There was some issue here uh, with this one. Oh no, not this one. This is a consent form. I am writing oh consent form consent form. Hmm. So here, what I'll do is this is my consent am script. Something wrong should not happen. I was trying to explain this. Is the I'll delete this? So here, okay. Let's start. First, let's go simple. Okay, and what I need to do? Uh, I don't want to just see. I'll walk. It will walk. Something's wrong. I'll figure it out. So I'm just adding this tag. Okay. So subscriber key, request parameter, subscriber key. Now copy this and let's save this. No, actually I have I should have added here. Yeah. So percent percentage equals maybe my it may be some typo or something that I created, which I was need to unknown of here and what was the name and say look up okay let's make publish this or if am script is giving you some error here with gtl and mt then it is wrong okay something with your code is wrong so here is working fine okay I again refresh this it's fine hmm. i just added this one i'll append this one with more details now let's see let's add this lookup rows maybe the data extension what not present or something 
wrong okay so i just added a lookup rows hmm. the master consent let me see if the spelling is correct master consent right hmm. so master consent and then there's a lookup okay and let me refresh this and let let's let's try this also if i add something typo okay and i say master d and i try to save this it will land to an error hmm. now it's, it is to land to an error okay so i had this lookup okay and i have uh, this d which is not present actually okay not present and let me say this will give you actually this will give you 500 error hmm. Hmm. see this is giving you error okay uh, only this is happening i don't know how to write with this caching thing i copy this let's see again i'll try to add it here oh. and yeah see it will be 500 error okay now let me keep this intact okay and uh, let me try to just change it here uh, i want to change here that's why I was saying you to do the try catch in the previous session, if you remember, right? Uh, I think in the fifth session, I was saying how to handle the exception. So this is, I modified this, okay? And let me refresh this. See, now it started working. I don't have to go to the cloud page and keep on publishing. Hmm. Uh, this is another advantage which you can do, okay? When you're using, now I just did a lookup row, okay? Now, I'll maybe this validation of with AMP script is something uh, this I have to check. Nahi karna tha mujhe, ki explain jada karne se problem hai. Hmm. So uh, let's go here. Let's just for the sake of simplicity, I'll remove this. Hmm. So I'm doing a lookup. Hmm. I'm again publishing this. And let me refresh this to see everything's working fine. Okay. If I want to land to an error, okay, obviously I can do a lot of things here. Hmm. So if I just even I type a typo here, hmm, see what happens. Okay, so if it's not doing anything wrong, hmm, and if I add let's say field one hmm, which there is no attribute as such called email one obviously the, all this error is not happening because of caching okay if this is not happening is because of caching nothing else i can say caching mujhe samajh nahi hai ki how to handle this caching thing hmm. but when i'm doing a content block actually it should reflect it's it should not take time hmm. it is uh maybe my computer or something is wrong or this will actually give you some 500 error hmm. but maybe if i do this anyway complex so you can Basically. try in settings like during the cache i know it is going to be like doing again and again it's going to be troublesome press this okay anyway uh what is uh, what is the main purpose we'll first complete that and then we'll go back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a let's say simple html email so session seven so here what i do is i write an m script you can build your own html email i'm simply doing in the shortcut way uh, to just help you understand what i'm doing and subscriber key mute value what is here is the subscriber key subscriber key 